Okay, hi everybody. I just wanted to take a quick moment and look at what it means to simplify radicals. I'm going to start by using a, a couple of examples that we're already familiar with here. We're going to take a look at the square root of 9, which we know means 3, and the cube root of 8, which we know is going to be 2. And we know this because when we write 9 in terms of its prime factors, we get 3 times 3, okay? And we know that when we take the or write 8 as its prime in terms of its prime factors, we get 2 times 2 times 2, okay? So prime factorization is going to play a pretty significant role in this procedure here. Um, and for my students here, they would have, by the time we get to looking at simplifying radicals, they'd have already taken a good look at, at um, prime factorization. Now notice over here with the square root, the root index is 2. What that means is a pair of identical factors within the radicand become a single factor outside the radicand. So here with the cube root, a triplet of factors becomes a single factor outside the radical. And that is the idea, okay, that the root index tells you how many of those factors you need, and then each of those groups becomes a single representative outside. So let's take a look at an example here. Let's say we're asking you to simplify the square root of 50. First thing I'm going to do is write this in terms of its prime factors, which will be 2 times 5 times 5. There is a, this is a square root, so I'm looking for a pair of factors. I've got a pair of 5s there, so a single 5 comes out. And because I can't pair the two up with anything, it stays inside the radical. It's, that's kind of a dead end. I can't do anything with it. The operation continues to be multiplication, whether it's inside or outside the radical. So it becomes 5 multiplied by the square root of 2. Uh, let's say I wanted to do the square root of 48. 48 is 16 times 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Because, again, this is a square root, I'm looking for pairs of factors, and I have a pair of 2s there, and I have another pair of 2s. And so, like I said before, for each pair, a single representative comes out. Everything's being multiplied together. And so then I would multiply those two together to get four multiplied by the square root of three. And that's, that's the idea. Now, when the root index gets larger, all that means is that we're looking for a larger group of factors there. So let's look at two times the cube root of 54. Now, I've left that two out there just to show you what happens if you've got an extra factor. But the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite 54 in terms of its prime factors, and that's 2 times 27, which is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. I'm looking for a, a cube root, so I'm looking for a triplet of identical factors. So I'm going to pull a 3 out to represent that trio of 3s there. And then, then because there's a single 2 inside there, I can't do anything with it, it stays in. 2 times 3 is 6, now multiplied by the cube root of 2. Okay? And I can go up even further here. Let's say I'm taking a look at 5 times the 4th root. Now, let's say 320. So, again, 5 times the 4th root. What I'm going to do is multiply uh, or break down 320 into its prime factors, which in this case is 64 times 5. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. There's 6 2s there times 5. Because I'm looking for a 4th root, I am looking for 4 identical factors together, and I've got a, a 4 uh, 2s there. Those are going to pop out, and so I'm going to get 5 multiplied by 2. Now, notice I still have repetition of factors inside there, but I don't have 4 of them, so that's my dead end. Okay, I'm looking for groups of 4. If it was a fifth root, I'd be looking for groups of 5 and so on. And then what I do is I multiply the factors inside, and I multiply the factors outside the radical together, and I get 10 multiplied by the fourth root of 20. That's all we're going to do. The only way this gets more difficult is if the if the numbers underneath get larger so that you have to do a more work to get it into its prime factors, but that's the basic idea.